opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. The gra 14 Enfeld defense uses this pawn push to gain space in the center and attack the c4 pawn. bg5 develops the bishop and attacks the knight on f6. And e4 places the knight on a center square where it attacks the knight on c3 and the bishop on g5. BH4 retreats the attacked bishop and keeps the e7 pawn pinned to the queen. NXC3 captures the knight on c3 and forces white to double their c pawns. BXC3 captures the knight and opens up the b file. This reveals an attack on a pawn. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is the last book move. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. There were worse moves but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to kick a queen. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This is the strongest option. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. 